I'm standing outside Camp 6. Above me is a watchtower with the stars and stripes on. And to my left and right are 18 foot wire mesh fences. Uh, it's covered with green limited visibility fencing. And on top of that is three feet of gently coiled barbed wire, almost forming a tunnel all the way around the top here. Welcome to Camp 5-6. I'm sorry, no luck. Can I get for you, sir? So we're heading inside to the inner sanctum of Camp 6, where around 150 detainees are housed. Sir, how you doing, guys? Welcome inside of Camp 6, the rotunda area here. We have some uh, Venetian blinds here, which Colonel Thomas is just pulling the strings off. I'm looking through Venetian blinds, which are covering one-way glass. We can see in, but they can't see us. In front of me is one of the mesh gate areas in which a guard would stand normally observing them. And this is a, a circular area two stories high. On the ground floor, obviously, the, the metal picnic tables and some plastic garden chairs. And then there are stairs up to a second level. Uh, around this circular area is a balcony. And off the area are cells, single cells, on the ground floor and on the first floor. The beauty of the uh, communal uh, setting, uh, communal conditions, is that the detainees are allowed to mingle together for socialization, but also, the, as, as you see, they're preparing their food, but they also pray together. They wreck together as we were walking in, there were a couple of detainees out in the recreational area playing soccer. And since you introduced this communal living area in this particular camp, what effect has it had on both the detainees in here and also your staff? Oh, a huge, uh, huge change. Um, what we found out, we cut back on that detainee and guard interaction. Uh, we've given them, we broadened some freedom inside the, their block, um, and it has cut down on the assaults. And why is it okay for us to observe them, to watch what they're doing right now, and they don't know about it, they don't know we're watching it? Well, we try to be transparent so that we, when we bring uh, distinguished visitors and media uh, here, that you can be able to observe from this point. Is it a little voyeuristic? Is it appropriate? I, I think it is. Uh, so you can see what's going on. 